Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz from Sassy's LLC and I'm so excited to be joining this YouTube hop that is a collaboration between Pear Blossom Press and Trinity Stamps. I love when our companies work together like this. We are going to make this a reindeer light up gift tag and you can replace both the battery and the two from on the tag so you can use this year after year. So we're going to use Emergency Card Essentials die set number two for the hexagons and ornament, die set number one for the face and the circles, and then we're going to bring in another die set. This is the Freezen Season Mug Add-on, and you don't actually need the mug. We're just going to take the antlers out of here to make our little reindeer, and then we're going to use a one light. If you've not used Pear Blossom Press's lights before, the one light is a really great place to start. It's super, super easy. So I'm just kind of figuring out where the nose needs to go on my ornament. And I'm gonna take the nose die and I'm gonna tape it right on there. The ornament then is gonna be nested onto this smaller hexagon. And I need to cut a hole that's gonna go all the way to the inside of my layered tag, okay? So on the first pass, I cut through my craft cardstock and my light blue cardstock. I just used some removable adhesive in case it didn't cut all the way through. But now that I know it will, I could have just glued these together. I will put the light blue hexagon onto the darker one so that I can fit that die in like a little puzzle piece and run that through one more time. That way the light that's gonna be on the very inside of our tag will show all the way through to Rudolph's nose. I'm gonna just glue these layers together here and I'm making sure to line up the nose perfectly and I'll get this nice even border all the way around. I designed both of the emergency card essentials die sets for Trinity stamps and that hexagon actually fits on a pop-up die that's in that same set that is super easy to put together. So definitely take a look at that if you like an interactive card. Here, I used a marker to color on some vellum, and I'm going to put that behind the hole in the ornament. And then that way we'll get kind of a red nose shining through. Once I figure out where I want the eyes and then the mouth, I'm going to go ahead and use my tweezers to get those all put down. There are five different faces included in Emergency Card Essentials, number one, because I love doing things like this, repurposing an ornament, putting a face on a donut. I just think, <laughs> I just think it's fun and goofy. So while I finish this up, I do want to tell you about the hop. Both companies are giving away a $25 gift card to their shop. So there's $50 in prizes here. And all you have to do is click on more or show more beneath the video and you will find all the details you need, including the next step on the hop and details for entering the giveaway. There's some really fantastic designers in here. So these antlers were intended to go on a mug that's quite a bit bigger than our ornament. So I just clipped the bottom, I don't know, branch, I guess, off to make them a little bit shorter. And when I go to glue my ornament onto my blue pieces, I'm making sure to line up the nose. I'm sort of holding it up to the light a little bit and I can see pretty easily where it's gonna fit. I have not yet put glue behind the top of the ornament so that it's easier to put my antlers in there. And I'm only gonna add glue on the pieces that overlap our blue cardstock. And I can just tuck them right behind there and they fit really, really nicely. The Freezing Season Mug add-on does have eyes in it. They're just a little bigger than this, but certainly you can put this reindeer onto anything, right? It can go on the mug, it can go on just a random circle. So I love when a die set has lots of versatility and you can use it in lots of different ways. So here's our one light. I'm just gonna pop a battery in there and I push the button and it lights up. That is it. So I'm lining this up on top of my reindeer. I want the light, which is the little yellow piece right in the center of his nose and I want the button and the whole mechanism really to be inside of that light blue cardstock. Then I'm gonna use the word push from the Paper Crafting Magic stamp set and I'm gonna stamp that right where that button is going to be. I'm using some really light blue ink. I don't like for the push to stand out a whole ton, but I do want people to know what to do with it. I have another dark blue hexagon and this one is upside down and I'm just stamping the push in some brown ink 
so that I know when I'm looking at it where I need to line up the light. We're actually going to tape the light down to the back of our tag. Because I wanna be able to replace the battery if it wears out, I'm sort of lining up where I want the light to go on the reindeer version and then removing it and trying to lay it down in the same spot on the back of our tag. Then I will use the two inch circle die from Emergency Card Essentials number one to cut a hole in it. I'm gonna add the light blue piece on with some removable adhesive. I've tested this adhesive over a long period of time, right? So I have some pieces that I taped together three years ago and they still stick, okay? It is removable, but it doesn't wear out or at least it doesn't wear out any more than like a regular tape runner. So I'm trying to make sure I have the placement right for my light. I want it shining through like the center of the nose. It's harder to see on camera, but in person, you can kind of tell where the light is. And I also want it completely inside of that circle. So I traced around the outside of our light, and then I'm gonna add some double-sided adhesive tape. I'll remove the backing and then add our little one light onto that light blue cardstock. The first time I set it down, it overlapped the darker blue just a little bit. So I hadn't pressed firmly yet, so I was able to move that. And then I'm just double checking to make sure that if I remove that light blue cardstock, that whole light and battery pack are gonna come off with it. This is the world's best foam tape from Pear Blossom Press. I took a piece off the roll and put it onto like some sticker backing. This I think was from a double-sided adhesive sheet. Uh, and that way I could easily cut it in half. I needed it to be thinner. Then I went along the edge of it with a dark blue marker so that if you're looking at the tag from the side, it's not gonna be so stark white. It's not gonna stand out so much. I found it easier to cut little wedges out of this and just butt it right up against each other than to try to curve it like I would if I was making a round shape or a shaker or something like that. But this came together pretty quickly. Once I get all of my foam tape around the outside edges, I can work on adding some ribbon. I found some nice shiny ribbon in my stash and I am just gonna tie a little knot in there and I've left the tiniest little gap at the top of my tag so that when this is done, I can slide it right in between. I'm double checking, making sure that it's the length that I want. And I'm noticing that the gap wasn't quite as big as I needed, but that foam tape is repositionable for 30 minutes. So I was able to move it a little bit and make a wider gap and that's gonna work beautifully. I cut off the excess of the ribbon and I'm gonna stick the tip of my glue bottle kind of into the knot. I wanna make sure that that's not gonna come undone. This ribbon is a little bit slippery and so I just figured better to be safe than sorry. I have some glue dots here and I'm gonna use one of those just at the very top of that dark blue cardstock. I don't want it on the light blue since that's removable, right? That would cause me problems, but I definitely have an opportunity here um, to glue the ribbon down to the cardstock, which will also help to make sure that small hands are not gonna pull that ribbon out of there. Then I'll remove the backing paper from around the edges of my tag and it's really easy to line this up. It's small, it fits in my hand, and I can just line up the bottom edges and then press everything firmly together. It also relieves so much stress for me knowing that that foam tape is repositionable. So if I didn't get it down right the first time, I can redo it and it's super easy. We're gonna add a tag sentiment to the back. And so this is a two inch circle mat. I make emergency card kits on my channel. On the first and third Friday of every month, I release free printable sentiments and they're one and three quarters of an inch. And so this is the standard mat size that I use for most of the circle sentiments. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. I used a little red glitter pen and then I'll just grab one of my kits. I couldn't decide. I just released this cute holiday that has some fun reindeer sentiments. I was thinking about the reindeer wishes and snowflake kisses, but in the end, I decided to make this definitely a tag. And I have a circle tag sentiment that has a to and a from. And around the top and around the bottom, it says handmade and kind of quirky. <laughs> I'll use the one and three quarter inch circle from that set to cut that out. And then I'll add it on with removable adhesive and that will finish our tag. 
So I press the button and his cute little nose lights up. On the back, I have my to and from, and then I can give it this year. And then next year I can replace that and give it to someone else. And then if the battery wears out because it's a long time from Christmas to Christmas, I can remove that blue hexagon, replace the battery and put it right back on there. I hope this inspires you to try a light up tag. I just think it's super fun, something extra special. Don't forget to check the description box below so you can enter to win gift cards to both shops and be sure to hop along and check out all the other inspiration. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you next time.